and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Grixis mid-range to finish off our 12-hour stream today. We're basically we're close to 11 hours into it right now. So hoping to 5-0 here in around an hour. That would be nice. Hopefully we win a lot of quick games here with our aggressively slanted Grixis deck. So this is Grixis mid-range because it's not just control. We got Knight of the Ebon Legion, Dread Horde Butcher, Thief of Sanity. We have some, some good threats that we can pressure our opponents with early. And so while we're interacting with them with like Thought Erasure and Removal and Bedevil and so on, and, and also playing like these cheap th things for them that they have to answer, right? Like they want to kill Knight of the Ebon Legion. You want to kill Dreadhorde Butcher, Thief of Sandy. These are like must kill threats. So hopefully with the combination of those, and then maybe with like Nicol Bolas the Ravager clearing out their last card, because there's been a whole lot of interaction early, then boom, we drop Nicol Bolas Dragon God and just take over. Because Nicol Bolas Dragon God will take over the game if not answered right away. And so that, that's what we're doing here. We're like pressuring our opponent and all this kind of stuff. And so we have like this, this good aggressive game plan that can also switch over to be the control role as well. So good, um, so, you know, a good mid-range deck. This is kind of like Esper Hero, where, but, but a little bit even more aggressive, where like you're like trying to kill the hero precinct ones and like, you know, trying to kill like their early creatures and stuff. And then uh, boom, they play five mana to fairy and it just takes over. We kind of have that same kind of thing going on here. We also got an Angrath because this card's amazing. Card's very underrated. One of the one of the most underrated cards in standard, uh, in my opinion. And we got a big Chandra. I'm not sure if I love the big Chandra in this deck because six mana is just kind of a lot. I don't know if that's if it's worth it when you already got these awesome five drops. I I may after playing this may want another Angrath, but over the big Chandra. But we'll see. Anyway, like we said before, it's been a long stream. Let's get to it. Let's start playing some games. And get some Grixis mid-range. See if we can finish off with yet another good league. Man, we've had some great leagues today. We've been crushing it. If you're missing any of the other decks on the YouTube channel, hope you all are checking them out over there. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, hope you check out some of the other decks also because we've had some good leagues here. Um, <clears throat> no, three, three color decks have always been just fine in standard. It's, it's usually just fine to play three color decks, even without, even bef like in formats that don't have shock lands and check lands. It's, there's definitely times like where, you know, like, it's not that three color decks are always the best. There's definitely times that some three colors work out better than other three colors depending on the cards in the format and stuff but but yeah that is true the the, the design that wizards has had recently of just making so many good cards across all the colors and just there's just good cards all over in standard, and that's what really opens up standard and makes you be able to play lots of lots of things. Um, so I like the the higher power level of these sets that are spread across a lot of. A lot of colors, a lot of cards. I would like to trade Dreadhorde Butcher for Knight of the Ebon Legion. I would like to make that trade. Knight of the Ebon Legion. Quite strong. Yeah, Asper Dragons was built around upon these Skylands. Because if they have, <clears throat> oh, this is red black. I'm gonna say if it, I was thinking it was gonna be like vampires. I'm gonna say that with vampires, like a Dante Vanguard would shut down that butcher immediately. Um, so Jaya's Greeting does kill my Hostage Taker, which I guess I take that then. Um, Iced, I have n no idea. 
I don't know anything about call centers. I have no idea. So, hoping between that draw step and the next draw step, they don't have anything for Hostage Taker. The Mono Black Control deck is awesome. It's it's my favorite deck to be playing right now. It was a lot of fun. We had one really bad matchup there, but still got a little unlucky. But then we had we had one one game like where we were just like real unlucky for a loss, honestly. But yeah, that's a that deck's a lot of fun to play. Well, darn. They did draw the removal. Oh, well. Oh, we're still doing okay. You know, we have these two things checked. We get to draw first. We draw a Nicol Bolas. Either Nicol Bolas. We're good. What's our opponent waiting on? Should I just kill these things? <laughs> what's a good que what's a good creature to swap out Chain Whirler in the Chandra Tribal deck? Um, I'm I think I'm gonna be like basically if you if you want to shop if you want to swap out gosh swap out Chain Whirler. Sorry, you probably want to um. What am I doing? Why would I not just lightning strike that thing? What am I doing here? They could have Knight of the Ebon Legion that, like, they could draw Knight of the Ebon Legion, which, like, actually kills me, and these Steamkins don't kill me right now. I should lightning strike that. Anyway, what I was going to be saying is I'm going to be working on that deck and uh, looking to kind of sw switch it up and maybe go towards Red White, go towards Deafening Clarion, and not have not have any Chain Whirlers in the deck. But that's what you need. You need, like, sweepers if you're not playing Chain Whirler. You need, like, fire, or at least, like, flame, uh, flame slash, flame sweep. I don't know, whatever that card's called. I do not know where to find budget rotation proof decks. That's something that maybe next week I'll put together some some rotation proof decks because that's what that's something that's a big uh, a big question that a lot of people are asking about. A lot of a lot of people are looking for rotation proof decks right now, so maybe I'll put those together. I haven't seen a green black scape shift deck, but um, the the thing about playing two like you're honestly kind of punished for just playing two colors with the scape shift deck instead of more because you need you need seven lands with different names whenever you scape shift. So you want to be playing a whole lot of different lands. Just in general, you don't want to be playing lands with the same name even when you're just playing your normal lands and in, in play. So you're you're like rewarded for playing more than two colors. Transform Nicol Bolas would still have CMC of four for Blast Zone. All right, we'd like to draw any of our six Planeswalkers or our four Nickel Boluses that can also turn into Planeswalkers or any of our other, I don't know, like 10 creatures. Basically anything that's not a land. 
Oh, thanks, Thrice. Thank you so much. Glad you're watching the YouTube videos and everything. And yeah, thanks for being able to catch a stream here. I'm staying on kind of late. I was hoping to have a quick league here, but my opponent is not helping me out here by playing so slowly. This was this was originally a donation deck that uh, that I've tuned up to to have like the the specific list that we're playing right now. This was originally a, a donation deck. Etarium. Thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub. You are amazing. Y'all, let's get some hype in the chat for our 13th sub of the day. Yeah, kitty. Yeah, the model black one. That's a that's a good deck. That, that was like a two and a half hour video too. Same with the team Regolas. That was a very long video as well. Everything else is up on... Um, YouTube right now, except for Kalia, the Kalia deck. That's still uploading because we just finished that. Come on, Nickel Bolas, Dragon God, or Angrath, Chandra. Wamp. Uh -huh, thanks, thanks for stopping. Yeah, you saw those on YouTube, but and you're gonna watch them. But you saw us streaming and stop by. That's very kind that you're watching the live stream here too. Thank you. So I'm not doing. Um, I'm not doing a. I'm not doing any streaming tomorrow. So. You know, like, we got the the six decks, 12 hours of decks um, that, you know, whatever you miss today, you get to check out tomorrow. Uh, if I sub, can you do a stream session just 100% Esper Control? Uh, no, I, I don't do... I just played Esper Control the last... Yesterday, actually, if you want to see me playing Esper Control. I, mean, I, I, do, I do donation decks, Ether King, so if you would like to donate... Uh, or do a tier three sub. Tier three subs get a donation deck, but I don't do a, a deck for just for just uh, every regular sub. But if you missed me playing uh, my Esper control list, and if you want to check out what my list looks like, check it out on the YouTube channel. There, I played it yesterday. Yeah, this has not been. Not been good drawing for us. I think my opponent's killing my mojo here for just how long every decision is taking. Hey, Dark Dude, going good. Looks like we lost game one. Ten lands and nineteen cards. Oh, eleven lands and nineteen cards. <clears throat> and zero of our top end. 
Okay, well I guess we're not dead. They didn't. Get out of my way. Looks like they're playing. Oh no, here. Jai's greetings don't go upstairs. The team or goalless deck try a guy's blessing. I. Yeah, the thing is, is like, guy's blessing is good to have in the deck for like when you said, just like you said, if it when it gets milled, it shuffles your graveyard back. That's, that's good for. If that like actually happens, the thing is, is I think there's going to be just as much or more times that instead of, I mean, probably just more because you don't actually mill that many cards in the deck. And you're going to draw more cards than what you mill. And so most of the time you're going to be just drawing that card. And I don't want to be drawing that card. I I just want Jace instead. You know, like we were talking about. They're just going to replace in the Golises with Jaces. And then you don't have to worry about shuffling your library back. You have your Tamios that can grab your Jaces too. And you can just win with Jace. Oh, yeah. What's up, Carlisle? Of my flames. How's life going? I will call. I remember you. Good kid. Good kid. All right. Let's see. So I guess I can't really do anything. Chandra can only minus four. The Sarkin has six loyalty, so you know four does not kill six and. Sargon just kills us next turn. So, GG. Okay, you're at Commerce. <laughs> to be honest, I don't... I mean, you know, I just had so many students and stuff, it's hard to remember everybody, but... No, you're, you're a good kid. I remember you. But there's... I can't say... I can't just be like, oh, I remember every single student. You know, that would just be me lying. I, I can't, but... I liked your class and everything too. You had a good class. Let's see. All right, so we're playing against um, another like Rakdos aggro ish deck. Daredevil's probably going to be pretty nice here. And I guess like if, if this kind of matchup's just going to be going long with like they kill my things, I kill their things, maybe I want this extra Chandra in here. Little Chandra could could recast some removal spells for us. The Dreadhorde Butchers did not feel very good. I'm gonna take those those out. Hostage Shaker would be great if we drew it later. It didn't really do anything on turn four, but maybe we'll draw it later. <laughs> All right. Have a good night, Ived. All right, what else? What's my last card here that I'm taking out? Is it just a hostage taker? No, maybe I'll just go one Chandra. I don't want to like be getting run over by Steamkins or something and have this six mana card in my hand. I think that I want that Chandra more just because of how that game turned out, but I should cut it. All right, keepable. Aw, thanks, AEQ. So I discovered the channel three-ish weeks ago, watched almost every video to the point I started using some of the expressions in English classes. <laughs> hey, glad, glad you're enjoying all the videos and everything, though. All right, thought erasure time. What do you what are you stuttering? <laughs> stuttering, Carla. What are you studying? Price of betrayal. Elder spell. Hmm. Well, Thief of Sanity is definitely going to be dead. 
I mean, I guess I could take... Yeah, I mean, I just want that card. I guess I could take Shock, take Flame Sweep, and then hope Thieva Sandy stays alive after that. Hey, Kazunato. All right, plan backfired. Plan backfired. Piano performance, okay. Daredevil Shock. So piano performance is that is there is it most like what's the what's the plan with Piano performance. Are you going to be like a, you know, like a, um, you know, an actual performer, which would make sense with that title, or looking more for for teaching after that? What? <clears throat> yeah, that's interesting. Are you at? Oh, you already said you were at. Um, you're not at UNT. You're at uh, teaching. Okay. You're at Commerce. That's right. Do I want to go Ravager? I kind of want to go Ravager. Oh, is Deckmaster not working right now? All right, well, I'll try exiting out of Deckmaster. Maybe it's just been up too long. I'm going to close it and reopen it. And y'all let me know if that makes a difference. All right, it just it just came back up again. I'm gonna be playing Thief of Sanity here. What's up, fishies? If we draw the land, then I'll go. Then I'll have Thief plus Legion's End. But I'm definitely getting Thief in play to be able to start attacking with it with them at discarding the Flame Sweep. Thank you so much for that sub there, fishies. So number 14 on the day. Deck list. Oh, I I did not update my deck list, did I? Good call. I joined this pretty quick. Um, after the last league, there you go. That should be should be Kalia now, or sorry, should be Grixis now. So no, I don't really want risk factor. But if I if I don't take risk factor, it goes to their graveyard, and then they're able to cast it from their graveyard, and I don't really want them to be casting risk factor. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's kind of annoying. Tilt's 
Tilt is, yeah, tilt is hard to deal with sometimes. Um, for myself, I'm just kind of experienced, an experienced player that has lost a lot. <laughs> I've played enough to, to lose all the time and also played enough to win all the time also and just, just kind of keep my head up and know that if I'm, if I'm in a losing streak, it'll turn around. Um, and you know, just I'm I'm one that I don't really I just don't focus that much on, on and don't really try to have like the importance on winning and losing as much. And that maybe that will help like with the tilting that um, it's not all about that. And just try to uh, try to focus on what's what's working, what's not working with with uh, your deck, what uh, what you can be updating, what you can be tuning, what you can be changing, all that kind of stuff. If you're really focused on that kind of stuff and um, focused on like improving your deck, you won't get like tilted as much with losing. The Sarkins are going to be like what I'm like, the Sarkins are going to be kind of troublesome. Maybe I should play Elder Spell instead of Lightning Strike. Maybe. Yeah, I have enough cheap removal. Well, I guess Lightning Strike takes out Sarkin, though, too. All right, now we'll just keep it like this. You finally found your cure for tilting. It's finding decks you have fun playing and not concentrating on wins and losses so much. There you go. Yep. That's what I like doing. That's exactly, exactly a good mindset to have. After you hit platinum, you stop caring about winning loss. Hope hope you hit platinum soon. <clears throat> each season. <laughs> Gotta get that gold. Yeah, this Grixis deck is is pretty good. I'm liking it. Yeah, the the losses that tilt me the most, I would say, are losses that like are games like where I think the matchup is kind of favorable for me, and I have like a good opening hand and I'm like looking good, and then I just draw like ten lands in a row and I just lose, and I'm just like, oh come on, I'm not supposed to be losing this matchup. That's that's like the. Or like, or the other way, you know, you just don't draw any lands, and you know, st stuff like that that happens, like matchups that I think are good, but we end up losing, or, or like the opponent has to have like a certain number of specific cards in a row. They do like that kind of stuff. Nor like r some games that doesn't really bother me, but it's like the the matchups like where I really think it's a favorable matchup, and I and I want to win, or like a deck that I have built that I have built to win a specific matchup. And that happens in that matchup kind of thing. Those are those are the games that tilt me the most. You know, if I'm like, okay, I'm gonna build this deck and have like this good sideboard plan and I really wanna win X matchup, and then I play against X and I just like flood out really bad and lose and I just cry. <laughs> I guess I need to bedevil this Knight of the Ebon Legion before it kills me. But I, I want to play Nicol Bolas next turn. We'll see what we got over here. I mean, I, I want to play Nicol Bolas. So I'm going to play Nicol Bolas because I can. It's unlikely this knight's going to kill me from 15 with me having a removal spell. It's unlikely. You play 
Bantam mass manipulation and I have a terrible win rate against dinos. Um, what about just entrancing melody? Are you playing like good amount of entrancing melodies? You can steal like r rotting regisaur. I guess it's not even like the best thing to steal because it makes you discard and everything. Hmm. You're talk you're probably talking about like Jun dinos, right? Menace Death Touch. I think there's 25 lands in this deck, I believe. So you're playing Bant. I would I would recommend yeah, actually, no, the the card you need to be playing is Baffling End, probably. That's that's probably the card you need to be playing. Like, cause with Bant with Jun Dinos, you have to get rid of their two drops. You gotta get rid of Marauding Raptor. And uh and that other one that gives them haste. And so if you're playing Bant, you're playing white, yeah, get get your get Baffling Ends in there. Because Baffling End gets rid of the 7-6 also. Yeah, you, yeah, I wouldn't mind going four copies. Um, at least three. But if you're really struggling with that matchup and you want to help that matchup, yeah, just go with all four. You, and maybe take, you know, maybe you just don't play Entrancing Melody. Then you play that one instead. Well, I should have played this other land. It would have been me attacking for lethal with that knight. But oh well. We are, we're winning this. It doesn't really matter. Stay back. I'm an explosively good pyromancer. Get out of my way. I'll just clear up the board. I mean, <laughs> sure, I killed two of my own creatures. But all those, all these Knight of the Evan Legions are gone. They have three cards and three lands. I don't, I don't think they're beating me. All right, finally. That match is over. That was way too long of a match. For 11 plus hours into a stream. It's way too long. Yeah, our opponent, yep, our opponent got mana screwed that last game. I think Sunday locks at us. I think I... For the next like five weeks each Sunday, you'll have the new event to get you know, different types of lands and the new unhinged land and stuff. So each Sunday to Tuesday, or maybe Wednesday. Hey, Yera. Vampire of the Dire Moon. Okay. So we got Knight of the Evan Legion over here also. What is this thing? Three mana, one, one, being of your end step, opponent lost life. You put a counter on it. That's kind of cool. Uh, it's a 2 2 lifelink, a murder, a child of knights. I'm going to take the murder. 
No. I don't know. So cast down's a good card to, to draw. But I'm putting it on the bottom. Or I'm sorry, I'm putting it in the graveyard because I, I want to get mana up to Nickel Ball's Dragon God. Oh, you missed out on this last event. Darn. He has lifelink. Yeah, so wizards will probably have it in the store for purchase later on. I would I would assume so. Vampire Dire Moon is going to get me in 15 turns. Thought about attacking with the Knight here and seeing if, if they block, then I just get to activate. If they don't block, I play Nicol Bolas. But honestly, I just want to play Nicol Bolas. I don't want to like sp spend my turn killing that Child of the Knight. It's not like that Child of the Knight matters. That thing doesn't matter. I shouldn't be casting the lightning strike there. I'm kind of in play fast F6 mode. <laughs> We're going to be winning this game. And our our life's just fine. Cuz we got the dragon god. I'm not sure what our opponent's doing. We've had more Let your weak uh, beginner decks crumble. today than what we've had in a, in a while here in, on the traditional constructed queue. Yeah, we I don't think we have not played against the scape shift deck today, I don't think. No, we played against zero scape shift all day. All these matches. How many matches have we played? Six, twelve. I guess I could just do it down the row. So six, eleven, seventeen, twenty-three, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. This is match number thirty. And no scape shift. None. All right, we'll bring the end. I'm not going to play... I'm going to cut Thief of Sanity. I don't know if there's like cards I really want to get from them, and trying to protect Thief of Sanity can be a pain. I'm just going to take those out. 
and I'm gonna play a shot. I'm gonna play a Chandra. Hmm. Yeah, we'll play a little Chandra. A little Chandra can minus and recast some of our removal spells. Yeah, I can understand how the flash decks are infuriating to play against. Alright, in another aggro match here, I guess we get to block. I was going to say I don't, don't know if it's worth shocking in to play Knight, but I, I guess we get to block. But I'm just paying two life to block. The only thing I really don't like about the Scapeshift deck is I really don't like whenever they have, like, Teferi, Instant Speed, Scapeshift out of your end step, and then you just have... And you know, and, and you can't respond to anything, and then I get to untap and kill you before you get to respond. That's the thing that really annoys me about the Scapeshift deck. Lil Teferi wasn't a card, I wouldn't mind the deck so much. Making sure I didn't need another black source for the Dragon God. We do not. Yeah, Legion's End is so good. Yeah, that is annoying that like the best all the best hate cards are rotating. Even though like the deck is rotating itself, but somebody that just wants to beat it for now, but wants to not really invest in cards that are rotating, that's really unfortunate too with like Blood Sun and stuff like that. It's like Blood Sun is like such a crappy card just to, to craft just for that deck. But you kind of have to. annoying so obviously I could have saved my vampire there but I didn't do it so I wanted to play the dragon god on a clean battlefield Suffer for your cause. Oh, uh, yeah, Legion's End doesn't take care of those things. Those things cost three mana. Legion's End only hits things with CMC two or less. And they get them back, but it takes a little while to play them, and I get to be activating this Nickel Bolas. Schemes to attend to my intellect is without limit. <laughs> I do now hear like my internet is without limits every time Nicol Bolas uses that that voice line. All right, so they just discarded both of those savage gorgers again. What they keep then? I'm 
Unclear what they kept. Murder. Alright, it's pretty clear what they kept now. I have other plans. I and another murder. Eons ago. Yeah, I think Lightning Strike rotates out. I think so. And unless it was reprinted in M20. Should I, like, put counters on... Should I put a counter on my... My schemes have been foiled. My schemes are never-ending. Man, all about these schemes. my fight anyway. Trying to kill my opponent. Ugh, they're at two. Alright, I was gonna destroy the Dreadhorde Butcher to kill them. <clears throat> Alright, we're two now. Let's see what we got here. Let's see if we get um a more meta deck than what we've been playing here recently. Diego. San. Diego. All right, San. What we got going on over here? Yeah, Friday. Yep, I'll be streaming again Friday. Uh, normal time, 3 to 10 Eastern and everything. You know, I'll be back to, to streaming every day again Friday. I'm just taking a day off tomorrow. Um... Yeah. So we got got twelve hours of YouTube videos though from today that if y'all are missing me you can watch whatever whatever you missed. Yeah, if if you're a tier three sub, then it's zero. You get a deck in the queue. You get a tier. You get a. Yep, you just get a deck in the queue automatically, for tier three subbing. And you get your, you get foil hype boats, to use in the chat too. like this Dreadhorde Butcher to continue to hit the opponent and not be blocked. <laughs> Sweet. And yeah, every every month you tier 3 sub, you get another donation deck. You just let me know what, you know, just let me know your deck list, what day you want me to play it, all that kind of stuff.
Vona. Dispark, Icon of Ancestry. These are all slightly annoying. I'm not going to take Vona. Dispark, killing my Nickel Bowl as Dragon God is definitely annoying. Icon of Ancestry is slightly annoying. Maybe it's Icon? I mean, the Dispark is like kind of their best card. But I can. I can handle losing Nicol Bolas after Nicol Bolas, you know, kills something else and trades with the Dispark. You know, like that's, I I can win. This icon, I guess, like if if this goes longer, like if they would draw, you know, I don't know, like a baffling end to get rid of the butcher or something, this could you know keep on getting them a whole bunch of cards, and make my life more difficult. So I'll strike the Lieutenant. I hope they go land Vona. That's what I want them to do. So I'll Bedevil Vona. Strike Lieutenant. Now we have a backup for after this, the Dispark. Worked out perfectly. They should probably get rid of Legion's Landing. That would be my guess, or maybe a fifth land. Kind of see. I will return one day. <laughs> you have no weakness that I cannot exploit. This is a big Dreadhorde Butcher. Time planeswalker. I only have played casual because of the time, but if you hadn't any card in the deck somewhere, you didn't lose instantly, right? Oh, I as as long as I've been playing, it's always been you lose instantly when you draw a card and you don't have any cards. It's not if you don't have any cards in your deck you lose, it's if you would if you are to draw a card and you don't have a card to draw then you lose. And that's how it's always been ever since I've been playing. Yeah, I don't know when I'm coming to San Diego. Not soon enough. I've only been to San Diego one time. It was like whenever I was a kid. By a kid, I mean, I don't know, like a middle schooler or so. But I really liked San Diego. That was one of my favorite cities. It was just... Weather was just always perfect and everything. I was there for, I don't know, how long, a weekend or a week or something like that, but it was it was a really cool city. I will wipe your bloodline, witness a moat of my power. That wouldn't be a bad place to live. As long as California is still, you know, a thing and not in the ocean. Just played against a black white vampire deck with Grixis, and they were at 34 life, and I was at four, and I came back to one. That is awesome. Good job, Burninator. You have tasted but a drop of power. Your weak 
minds crumble. This game should be over. Alright. Nickel Bolus really is a mean card. This makes you exile all your stuff. Alright, more Legion's Ends for the Vampires. Um... Let's see. What else? Their devil's kind of good if they like mortify and stuff like that. Noctis grasp hits some things, but not usually the most important things. I just play another big Chandra and just cut these thief of sanities. Let's do that. <laughs> I'm starting I'm yeah, I've been starting to feel it with this video. We're closing in on the 12 hours here and I'm starting to feel it now. We're just trying to win these games quickly. <laughs> I like want to I like want to eat food. I haven't ate food like in this 12 hours like but it's not like I it's like I kind of want to eat food but I also just want to go to sleep. I also just you know like want to lay down and go to sleep. I kind of want to like go to sleep more than eat food though. <laughs> hey Code Junk. I'm I don't really need to bulk up. I'm I like my body. I'm I'm lean and cut and I think I look good. Should I play Vampires, Bant Ramp, or Simic Flash? Um those are all good choices. Those are all good choices. Maybe uh Maybe vampires. The other ones are blue green decks. That's why I went with the one that's different. Yeah, our decks have just been crushing it today. It's been a really good day, win loss wise. But yeah, I won't be streaming tomorrow. I'll be, I'll be recuperating, resting, all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm gonna try to get real far in uh, Super Mario Odyssey on the Switch. I've been playing that. I'm at like 500. I'm at a little over five, like 520 power moons. I'm gonna see how many close to the thousand I, I can find. Definitely won't get that many, but see how many we can get. You are fortunate I have not killed you already. Our fates thirst for life. Oh, Kojunk says they have they have all those decks, and so they're asking which one to play. I will not relent. 
Deck, you're not helping me out here. Three draw steps, three lands. Not helping me out. Straight Benalia. No, that's not going to happen, 619. You're not going to get any paper cards to replace cards that rotate out. I like Gideon more than History Banalia and Vampires myself, but I don't. I don't think you really need either main deck. I like Gideon in the sideboard. If you noticed yesterday, I played I played Vampires yesterday. Code Junk, you can see my list there. Uh, I liked it quite a bit. We went uh, four one over there in Mythic with it, and it felt pretty good. I I don't think there's going to be any. I don't think you'll even get five packs or I don't think there's any I don't think you're getting anything for rotation basically because uh, the cards that rotate out they're still just going to be in your collection and they're they're going to just be in your collection you'll you, you can use them in his historic and all that kind of stuff and it's they're just not legal and standard anymore but they're just not they're not gone from your collection Will bend to my will. You're not a vampire, are you? No. Oh man, these opponents are just killing me though in this league. They're just taking so long to do stuff. Just, just do something. <laughs> uh. Blood calls to your soul. You have to, you have to log out and log back in to get your season rewards. I believe I could be wrong there, but I'm pretty sure that's something that you have to do. Oh, you tried that twice and didn't get it. Will be pain. My intellect is without limit. Then I'm not exactly sure. Just block it. Thank you. So definitely a way that I lose this is like they play a vampire, they sack it, do three to me. They play another vampire, they sack it, do three to me again. So I'm hoping they don't draw vampires. I want them to draw like some lands. Yeah, that's what I that's what I hear now too. After somebody in chat said it before, the it definitely feels like. 
our punts or like the Nick sorry nickel balls is saying my internet is without limit. Yeah, okay. But time planes walk. I outsmarted you eons ago. We're coming back. Gotta get the Soren off the battlefield before it starts killing us. Yeah, this looks really good for us. I don't really see us losing this, to be honest. These childish games bore me. I God once again. Make them exile another land. I have other plans. My schemes are never ending. Life total doesn't really matter that much. You know, like getting like Chandra out for emblems and stuff. It doesn't really matter. What matters is just getting rid of these lands. And so playing the new Nickel Bolas just gets rid of another land. All right. Have a good night, Matthew. So what I was going to do there is, yeah, I was going to flip. I was going to flip the creature bol uh, Nickel Bolas and go grab the Planeswalker Nickel Bolas and put that into play and make them exile another land, and they're going to just have one land left at the end of that turn, and, yeah, the game was over. All right, hopefully we play against somebody who's a little faster. Oh, Kitato! <laughs> Kitato's... Playing Demir Flash. This, the Demir Flash deck we played earlier that was pretty awesome and everything. That was Ki, Kitato's deck. Yeah, I'm going to finish out the league here, Matthew. Um, this is a mulligan, though. I mean, I like Thought Erasure a lot, but I, I hate triple blue red land. All right can keep this. Oh. No, yeah, I'm playing out the league, so hopefully just two more matches. Hopefully win this one, win the next one, and we get another 5-0. So at the very most, it's three matches. It could be two if we go lose-lose or win-win, or it's three if we go win-lose. So Kitato is trying the Ezcanta in the deck.
This is unfortunate for Kitato, though, because a, a bad pairing for them because I just know their deck, you know, so well, be, you know, playing it and everything. And so, you know, usually playing a, a deck like this, you get some... You get some equity of like your opponent not really knowing what you're doing. It, it exiled the Spectral Sailor from the graveyard? It should not have exiled that one from the graveyard, right? Oh, no. Oh, I guess this one does. Oh, yeah, I guess... No, I was thinking Cry the Carnarium, but yeah, Legion's End does. Okay, well, that... That works out. That makes it even harder for the Escanta to flip. That's good. So I went I went with uh, Legion's End instead of Bedevil there, because if I go Bedevil, then the Escanta could flip immediately. Those can't may get me. Like always, I want to draw Nicobolas. No, I don't think if Thought Razor had Scry instead of Surveil, it would make much of a difference. The card would still be played as, as much as it is right now. This deck could have Ascanta. All right, does Kitato draw a removal spell? Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. I mean, how, why does it confuse you why it's so good? You, you get extra cards. Getting, getting extra cards is really good. 
you you have to spend mana, of course, but you it's just a That was a great turn for Kitato and a terrible turn for me of drawing a land. That could not have gone much better. <laughs> wow, another Curious Obsession? That was like perfect. Wow, that was great. Just another land for me. They took that removal spell. I was going to grab that with the Thieves Sanity, but they took it with the Escanta first, and then I got trash. Um... Yeah, team chat. Team chat getting me. Thought we were going to be winning that game. We did not draw very well. This Kanta got me. That was... Even like, you know, we, just like two turns before that, we had Thief. He had that other creature. I thought we were going to win, but... Did not... I want to like take out like Knight and Dreadhorde Butcher. Yeah, it's been officially 12 hours. No, we haven't drawn Angrath once the entire league. Not one time. I'd like to find an instant speed removal spell like Bedevil that I get to play interesting just didn't attack I think, I think Hitato just accidentally hit the pass turn button there. Yes, Hawkeye. Just... Chill out.
Terramander is so good. Why did I tell Kitato to play Terramanders? Because these Terramanders are just going to be 5 fives to my Nickel Bulls. It's a 4 4. Don't like where we're at with this game right now. That's a good card to see. Nico Bolas. All right, Nico Bolas is in there. Now we need to draw one more land. We need to flip Nico Bolas. Flipping Nico Bolas will make my life better for sure. Draw a land. No. That's not good. That was the worst possible draw we could have in our deck. Yeah, that was the actual worst possible draw we could have in our deck. There's just two nickel boluses. Literally everything else would have been better. I guess Duress and Thought Razor wouldn't have been great, but they would have been better. Okay, well, never mind. This is better than Duress and Thought Erasure. Not the worst anymore. That was one of the best draws. All right, we're looking pretty solid. My power is boundless. The dead shall serve me. So even if there is a flash creature here, we have. You know, a flash creature to kill, like, the dragon god, we'd still have the Arisen still, but... Hey, Salt, yeah, the Demir flash that we played earlier did go really well, and looks like Kitato is doing awesome with it now. Everything is power, and I, I always have, have a life. Dead or alive. <laughs> oh, Bon Jovi. Yeah, instant hand refill, pretty good. Hey, it's Comment. Uh, this is uh, this is not ranked. I'm playing in the the traditional constructed queue, like where you pay the thousand gold. 
and play until you win five or lose two. Sometimes I do ranked. Uh, whenever I play ranked, I put an R next to the deck. We did a lot of ranked on Sunday and on and yesterday. Ooh, and so today awesome. we're playing a bunch of fun decks over in the traditional constructed keys. I know what must be done. All right, so we'll get rid of this. Murder. Right now we're just kind of working towards the Nickel Bolas Ultimate. Meow. Yeah, we're still going. Our six decks have not finished up our 12 hour stream yet so we're still going what if I play a blood sun uh, to shut down Ascanta would that be crazy yeah That'd be crazy, right? Yeah, that'd be crazy. <laughs> I just put up a couple of pictures of Hawkeye, uh, like, what, last night or the night before? He was laying down on his back, and uh, he yawned, and I got a picture of him during him yawning. Yeah, in the pet. And to see, like, his teeth and everything. <laughs> it was not a, not a real flattering picture. I'm sure he's not super happy about it, but I will. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I'm not a very good agent for his modeling career, if I'm saying that about his picture. Good point. Cool. Yep. Good. Yeah. I hope you catch the leagues that you miss today, tomorrow. Best Hawkeye pick ever. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one.
Oh, auto tap. Darn it. I want to play the Chandra this turn. I guess I had Spell Pierce. I guess I played around Spell Pierce. I guess that's what I was doing. I was playing around Spell Pierce. <laughs> yes, first punt of the day. Make an exclamation point punt. <laughs> Hey, good job, Rex. Going 3-0 with the Jeskai pile at the LGS. Good job. Ah, <laughs> uh, y'all... Y'all said the punt was real. I guess I'm at 0 .08 punts per hour. That's pretty good. I mean, I probably should kill the Spectral Sailor. But I don't know. Maybe we'll just get a whole bunch of emblems. Is it just me, or is it getting a little warm in here? <laughs> you love the yawn pick. <laughs> Just gotta get rid of Terramander. Things too big. Oh, looks like someone's getting a little. Poor Dragon God's gonna die to the little sailor, though. I guess I could have prevented that by killing the sailor with the Chandra, but now nah, we're going emblem. All emblem all day. It's two now. Next turn three. Turn after that four. Turn after that five. Never not emblem. The Chandra board wipe doesn't really work because that, that Terramander was actually a 5-5. Five five. So like the Chandra minus three doesn't work there. Think on my feet. Let's get toasty. What what I could have done there? Yeah, I could have kept bolus. I could have just minus three bolus on that thing, and then just minus one the Chandra, and just get rid of that that creature. Then we don't get the emblem, and then we get rid of and bolus stays around. Then the next turn bolus can emblem, but. I didn't do that. That's probably a better play, but oh well. More emblems. All right, 4-0. Hopefully last match of the night. No, MTG bot and Stream Deck are, are different things. Final boss. Here we go. If we lose, we play another one. 
But we don't want to lose. We want to win. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, it's Comet. You can find the playlist here. <laughs> GG, Kitato. Oh, I ruined your win streak? Uncounterable Chandra. Too good. Um, Temple Garden. Temple Garden means we're attacking. Yep, this is the constructed event. Breeding pool. So do I want to Thieves Sandy or do another Butcher? It's the worst case scenario for Thieves Sandy. They have Little Teferi and bounce it. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, I think the ranked matches are, for the most part, more challenging. But you, you do get some good matches here in, in this queue as well. I like the format of this queue for the decks though also. But I, I do both. I don't I don't like necessarily just do one or the other. I do both. But today yesterday we did all ranked. Today I'm doing all the traditional constructed queues. Um Thief, I, I kind of feel like Thief's a little bit more aggressive than the Butcher, which is why I played the Thief, because Thief is so sm snowball-y and just, and uh, everything. I don't, what's our opponent doing? They're playing like some kind of band thing. I don't even know what they're doing. No, I guess I'll play this over this. I know how I want to sideboard because I don't know what they're doing. I don't know. I guess I'm just not going to sideboard then. Yeah, our opponent didn't see a ton of our deck either, but you know they get the gist of it. Dreadhorde, Thieves Andy, aggressive Grixis. Yeah, it could be Scape Shift. I have not played against Scape Shift today, and you know like the over thirty matches we played. Huh. Huh. That's crazy. Glad the puppy's all all good and everything.
Is this like a band nexus? Band control kind of thing? Veil of Summer, Negate, Llanowar Elf. I think I can handle that. So then playing the other Llanowar Elf means, like, this is really good for Dreadhorde Butcher because they get to attack in there. If they want to block Dreadhorde Butcher, then I get to kill both Llanowar Elves. I guess I don't get to attack with the Knight of the Ebon Legion, though. This turn, since I'm playing the Butcher. Attack. No, I mean I've played I've played my fair share of like land world decks and been very happy to, to just block a dreadhorde butcher and just because dreadhorde butcher can get so crazy like this where. I was I was definitely happy just going with the thought erasure there instead, uh, but now now we could you know get two like two land orals with that butcher that previous turn. Your puppies, ah, melody. All right, <laughs> Hawkeye. I can't see the screen. Hawkeye just lies down right in front of the screen. Can't see my hand. All right, we gotta play over here. So I can't. <laughs> Looking at me, all smirk. He is like, what are you doing still streaming? He's never laid down like this in front of the in front of the screen. Like he's like laying against the screen looking at me. You have a cat named Hawkeye also? Uh Krasis. That's a good draw. Ooh. Thought erasure, that is also a good draw. I just want land right now. I want to play Dragon God. Mm. Deputy Detention is a good... A good card to have if they draw another mass manipulation or enchanting melody. If they take any of my things, I can deputy them back. GG's. We did it. Another 5 0. -oh. Wow, 15 and 1 in the last 16 matches. Finally bedtime. This, this is a fun deck to play. I like this this Grixis version. I'm going to have to try this one over in ranked too. <clears throat> We're going to have to take some of these decks we played today, try them over in ranked. 
here because these decks felt pretty good. Like the Kalia, the Grixis midrange, you know, we just just weren't losing. We got to try them against a little bit stiffer competition. To be fair, today we did have some pretty easy pairings for the most part, but um, but you know those last two matches were definitely you know against like the Bant deck against Kitato. Like those last two were were good good decks and everything. Um, yeah, so. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, thanks, everybody, for powering through tonight. Um, had a had a great one. Crack two packs, I agree. We should crack some packs. We won a lot of gold today. So one, two, three, four. I'm cracking open four packs. You know, why not? We had a great, great stream today and everything. We got four or five win decks, so we're going to crack open four packs today. Gargos. I'm sure I'm going to be putting a Hydra deck together with Gargos, so I'm happy to have that one. Agent of Treachery, not a bad one to have. Attempsis. Okay, that's kind of a bad one to have. And here's our Mythic. Our Mythic Rare. Okay, not quite. <laughs> Okay, those weren't the best packs, but that's okay. Anyway, pretty sweet deck here. We didn't get to draw the Angrath, so that was that was sad. Didn't get to draw Angrath ever. But I really like what what, I, what we got going on here with this deck. I like what the deck's trying to do and everything like that. Hey, Kitato, thanks for that sub here. All right, good question. Out of all the decks today that we played, which one was my favorite? I would say, um, honestly, the Mono Black Control. The Mono Black Control uh, was probably my favorite. It, it's a lot of fun to play. It felt really good, though, and everything, too. Um, yeah, I really liked the Mono Black Control. That was my favorite deck today. Um, thanks, it's Comet. Yeah, glad you like the stream. I'm here. So, I yeah, so since you're new to the stream, I'm here every day from 3 to 10 Eastern is my normal time. That's what I do every day. Um, full-time streamer here, but uh, tomorrow, as you can see, I'm not streaming, taking the day off. I only took one day off in July, so we'll take the first day of August off also. And then, yeah, be back on Friday at 3 o'clock, and I play usually play four decks a day. Uh, if you missed any decks today or if you want to see any of the other decks, check out the YouTube channel. That's where we have all the videos, put up four, four decks every single day, play tons of different uh, decks and everything on there. So hope y'all. So tomorrow, since I'm not streaming, hope y'all are checking out the YouTube channel and missed any of the decks that you missed today, or you know the other days. But there we go. That's it for me tonight. If you're watching this video later on YouTube, uh, thanks so much for watching. Hope you hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. Um, but yeah, that's it here for Grixis Midrange. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.